Hmm. These white tiles are going to look good on the kitchen wall, I think. looks like the tiles on my kitchen walls right now. That's strange. It's going to be a good renovation day today. I can feel it. In this episode, I play Tile Tetris. I pop a pimple, I make it rain tiles, and I choke on some white powder. Join me on my adventure to renovate an old house in Japan. Hey, welcome back. This episode, I'm going to keep working in the kitchen. I couldn't decide if I should keep these tiled walls in the kitchen after spending so much time and effort renovating the rest of the kitchen. The tiles are shameful. Filthy teal color destroyers of good design. Who uses this color in their kitchen anyhow? It belongs in a school or a public bathroom. Wait, wait, no, no. It doesn't belong anywhere. I thought of many different ways to renovate this area. I had no desire to scrape off all the old tiles and retile the walls. I had one idea which was to spray paint over the old existing tiles with primer and then use a heat resistant paint to go over it. But I had a feeling this idea was bound to fail and eventually I would have to retile the walls anyways. It's decided then. Let's tear down the old tiles and make it better. Let's get started. If you enjoy my content, consider subscribing and hitting that like button. Thanks a lot. The demolition of the tiles was pretty easy. Some areas came off the walls like peeling a soft orange. You can tell that the quality of the mortar used was terrible. It's the same problem in my bathroom, unfortunately. The tiles were barely sticking to the walls. Some of the tiles don't even seem to have mortar attached to them at all. Tapping the wall in some areas made the tiles just fall off without even having to pry them off. It was quite funny. It's a miracle the tiles didn't fall off the walls sooner. I think this is a sign of big problems to come installing the new tiles. The new tiles are the same size as the two of the old tiles put together. This will make the measurements easy when installing the tiles on the wall. The tiles should measure perfectly with minimal cutting. This is what I was given at Conan Pro, a hardware store here in Japan. It's a suspicious clear bag of white powder. Supposedly, it's mortar for the tiles. This lady is just having a great time creating the tiled bath of her dreams. Her heart is swelling with excitement. This is dark gray colored tile grout. I mean, mortar. Even the material that goes between the tiles is called mortar and not grout. And another happy housewife having a great time grouting her tiles. Mortar trowel, sponge, tile spacers, and a soft trowel for applying grout. Water bucket for cleaning. I'm using a laser level to help me keep the tiles perfectly straight. Even if you draw a line on the wall, by the time you add the mortar to the wall, it will disappear and with it any hope of keeping a straight row of tiles. Notice something funny? Oh yeah, I'm not making any progress. 
Something is just not right here. Staff at hardware stores are never useful. It's the same in every country, and Japan is no exception. This was a product that I was pointed to when I was asked, what do I need? Well, I need mortar to attach tiles to wall. Whatever they sold me, it's not tile mortar. The tiles didn't stick to the wall for more than 20 seconds. I tried a dry mix. I tried a wetter mix. I tried applying the mortar to the wall first. That didn't work. I tried troweling the tile on the back and then pressing it against the wall. That didn't work. Nothing worked. One of the most annoying situations you can encounter is when a product utterly fails at its sole purpose. Wasted time, wasted money. The next product I will try is this, Semadyne Tile Ace. It's an expensive bottle, um, container, roll, of paste, glue. I have no idea what to call it. I'm not sure if I'm going to open it and get tile glue or cured sausage. Seriously, look at it. It looks like a roll of salami. Once you open the tube, you're in a race for time. It will start drying quickly. There's no saving the rest of the contents. It's use it or lose it. So if you have an area that is very small, then it's a waste of money to buy a roll. But man, it worked almost too well. It was extremely tacky. The tile stuck to the wall perfectly. Unfortunately, the tile adhesive stuck to everything else as well. It gets on everything. I was touching every little thing and soon enough every tile on the wall has your fingerprints all over them. I had to use mineral spirits to wipe it off afterwards. Cutting tiles with a hand tile cutter takes practice and the utmost patience. You're going to need a lot of extra tiles when you mess everything up again and again. Oh. Practice makes perfect, right? Well, not so perfect, but it'll be fine. It's going to be covered by the electrical socket cover, so it should be no problem. I gotta finish, I gotta finish, I gotta finish. Oh. <coughs> you know what? Forget this, I hate tiling. I'm going to go have some fun. <laughs> the whole world is white. <laughs> ah, ah. 
What am I doing? My towel motor is probably drying out by now. I have to get back to work. I'm moving fast. I'll be done in no time. No thanks to that white motor. Whoa, 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 I don't want any more of your creepy white powder. I'm doing fine without it. I've had enough. <laughs> you think darkness is your ally? But you merely adopted the dark. I was born in it. I didn't see the light until I was already a man. And by then it was nothing to me but blinding. Well, let's get back to work. I had a lot of pieces that needed only half a centimeter taken off. I wish the lip of the wall was just a little bit bigger so I wouldn't have to cut all these tiles. It's so many tiles. Sometimes you need to cut out a small area from the tile. The tile cutter that I am using wasn't designed to cut small portions of the tile, or designed to cut anything other than straight lines. It's really annoying. To remedy this, I can still use the cutter to score the tile or make a small groove into it. Even though I can't press down on it with the tile cutter, I can use my hand cutter to just crimp and break the tile along the area that I scored or put the groove into. The tile will break along the line that you scored. It's a simple workaround for this problem. My broken tile scrapyard continued to increase. It wasn't an easy process. I used the last portion of the salami to finish the wall. I'm not going to lie to you. Tiling is very difficult and very physical work. It shouldn't be made more difficult and complicated by companies that make inferior tile adhesives. But you might argue, Danny, these aren't pro products. And the product should say that on the label as such. This product is not a pro product and therefore of no use to anyone except housewives. Oh yeah. Let me tell you exactly how you can spot an inferior product in Japan by its packaging. These are examples of mortar products at hardware stores in Japan. Look at these ridiculous packages. I don't normally use words like sexist, demeaning, or misogynist, but look at these package designs. Every package has a picture of a woman that looks like a housewife smiling. They're all having a great time tiling the bath or the kitchen wearing ridiculous outfits. I want the manufacturers to explain to me why they chose to portray female characters in this manner on all of their packaging. Is it because it's so easy even a woman can do the job? Is it because only women should be tiling? None of these characters are smiling in real life. They're all laying in bed in tears because they couldn't have the kitchen of their dreams. All the tiles just kept falling off the walls and the failure was too tragic. How could they ever face their husbands again? Never ever buy products like this in Japan. Products that explicitly demean women on the covers of their packaging 
in the hopes to sell a terrible product. With all that said, let's get back to work. Originally, I mentioned the idea of painting the tiles. I had even bought all the spray paint to do so. After I abandoned the idea, I decided to use the same paint to paint this wall. But not in the manner in which I originally intended to use the spray paint. Primer, masking plastic, gloves, respirator, and masking tape. As you saw, I didn't tile the wall completely. I just wanted the upper backsplash of the counters tiled. It would be too costly and time consuming to do everything. You won't see the lower tiles once the counters are installed, so it was pointless to continue down. Yes, I'm still going to use a Happy Housewife product. This is the dark gray grout. It will go between the gaps of the tiles. I had already bought this product before I had anger with these types of products. How can they get grout wrong? Well, let's find out. I used a soft trowel to apply the mortar. I mean, the grout to the walls. Just squeeze it into every gap of the tiles. Once it's dry, wipe it down with a sponge. And then do a final cleanup with a cloth rag. You're going to have to change out your bucket water quite a bit to get the tiles clean and clear. I made a mess of my walls. The black grout stained them, but I have a plan to repaint the walls anyways, so it will be remedied later. Until then, it's going to look a little stained. Just ignore it. And the grout sealer to seal everything. That's it for this episode. I really need an episode where nothing goes wrong. We'll see. Next time, I'm back to tackling the concrete counters. I'll be adding two more sections, including the kitchen faucet. If you're still around, then, thanks again for hitting the like button and supporting my channel. And consider subscribing if you enjoyed my content. See you next time.